from Miami Beach, Florida. Welcome to Believe. I'm Nicholas Upchurch. Thank you so much for joining me. It's an honor to have you here. We want to help you to find your truth, help you to succeed. We do that in five categories, money and business, true success, health and wellness, world news, and our universe. It's an honor to have you with me. I want to help you to do things you never thought possible, help you to make sense of the world and come to your own conclusions about what might be going on so you can find harmony and we can get this thing going in the right direction. Our website is believe.love and also on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash believe loves you, believe iTunes.com for iTunes users, believe android.com for Android users. Wow, so much going on in the world. So much going on, big weekend, big weekend. I was feeling crazy today when I woke up. I was feeling tired, I laid in bed. You know, it's nice for me to do that. I actually decompress. They say that everything that is vibrating is an illusion. And maybe that the only thing that's true is that silence, right? But sometimes when we're so busy, we're moving around, it's tough to get back to that silence. So sometimes when I wake up, I do that nice silence and then I woke up, we did a great interview. We've had so many great interviews and we have so much more scheduled for you guys. So much more scheduled for you guys. Man, those believers, I, I, you know, we're getting some great comments now. I love what's going on out there. I love it. I can feel the momentum picking up. I can really feel, we have our free energy project going on in Venezuela. So we have uh, Gabriela working in Venezuela. We've hired four engineers in Venezuela to work on bringing free energy to the world and try to end poverty. We're trying to end poverty, period, because you can replicate things with 3D printers. If there's free energy, there is no poverty. And it probably already exists. Nikola Tesla was working on it. But we're gonna try to do it. I don't know if anything's gonna come of it, but we're trying to do it. I'm trying to do my best for you guys because I want everybody to live their most fulfilling life, to get all of those things that you're meant to get in this life. And it'd be an honor if I could help you do that. So let's let's become more aware, shall we? Let's become more aware. Let's be open to things without saying, oh, I hate what you're saying. I hate what you're saying. You know what? It's tough for me too. It's tough for me to deal with a lot of things out there. You know, people saying this and that. But I'm going to send love to all the people that disagree I just, you know what, I love it. I love it because without that, there is no growth. Without that, there is no growth. So I actually do appreciate that. I appreciate it so much. An article that came across my desk that I thought was really important, and I want to start out tonight. We're going to get into a lot of cool things. Here's one right now that I think you should be aware of, and this one was really interesting to me. Putin, which is Vladimir Putin, the uh, president of Russia. Putin reveals fears that robots with artificial intelligence will one day eat us and asks the head of Russia's largest tech firm how soon it will happen, which is Yandex. So the Russian president was speaking to Mr. Veloz Yagovryu Peruski Ploha, by the way. My Russian is rough. The chief of internet firm Yandex. He baffled Veloz by asking how long it will be till artificial intelligence eats us. Veloz said he hopes never and sounded optimistic, but Putin was unconvinced. Earlier this month, Putin said whoever becomes master of AI, which is artificial intelligence, will rule the world. Can you believe that? Now, it sounds crazy, but the reason I'm bringing this up, I'm going to put another article on screen right now. And this is a story from Elon Musk. Elon Musk, you know, people, he's an American, apparently, right? Uh, The head of Tesla and a bunch of other companies. Most interestingly enough, Neuralink. AI, a bigger threat to humanity than North Korea. Elon Musk. And uh, he's firm on his belief that Uh, rising artificial intelligence is a threat to mankind and is leaving no chance to put his view forward I guess I mean yeah he's he's basically putting his view forward at all costs he's you know he's not leaving any opportunity out Musk reminded us of this again while talking about the potential or 
the potential nuclear conflict between the U.S. and North Korea. Well, some people say that chips, you know, there was a chipping party. You ever hear of a chipping party? <laughs> they had a chipping party in Wisconsin, some tech company, where they put things on Twitter. They were all excited that everybody was going to get chipped. And they made it look like, you know, people are so excited, I'm going to get chipped. It was kind of, it was, it was a little bit, a little bit strange because people were like way excited to get chipped. Like they had these smiles, like, uh, you know, really like fake looking and they got chipped, injected. Some people say that's the mark of the beast. If you look at Elon Musk and what he said about artificial intelligence in the past, he said, you know, when we get into satanic things and worshiping Lucifer and things like that, then you get into AI. The only thing I'm wondering about Elon Musk is this company Neuralink, he's, he, I think he wants to hook people's brains into the internet. And I'm not so sure about that because I'm not so sure about who might be running the internet right now. I think we probably should take a look at that. And I'm not sure why on one hand he's saying that AI is, is, could be a threat to humanity. And on the other hand, he has a company that's going to hook people's brains up to the internet, and I guess to sort of fix them up. Neuralink is, you know, I guess there could be some, some interesting ways to uh, cure paralysis, but by the way, there are other ways. There are other ways with, um, and we're gonna get into some of those things, some of those things that people are working on besides just what we think technology is, because in my opinion, although I would go to a doctor for almost any major condition. The real technology is within us and a lot of technology within the earth. And Nikola Tesla, who, again, Elon Musk owns Tesla, the company. Nikola Tesla is proof of that because he was working on free energy with, uh, with the Schumann resonance, which is from the earth, actually from the earth. And there's a field of energy from the earth, a natural field that we can get in harmony with ourselves. And we're going to talk about that later in the show. But um, that the energy was coming from that, and that was infinite. And so that, that has nothing to do with, and actually, there was another uh, gentleman who was a, a Russian guy, George Lakovsky, who was born in Russia in 1870. He lived in France for, for a long time or most of his life. And he, he figured out the same thing in terms of healing people, healing people of cancer, not by killing the cells, by getting things into harmony. So this AI thing is really, really interesting. Vladimir Putin knows what the score is. We're not talking about it in the U.S. in terms of politicians. And in my opinion, we should be. It's probably the biggest thing we could be talking about. And my personal opinion on, it, on this is that I'm okay with R2-D2 and C-3PO. But the problem right now is there are other agendas that the public is not aware of that go beyond political party, and it is hooked in with the internet. And let me just ask you one question, and you can answer it. Who is controlling the NSA in the United States? Because apparently they're reading all of our emails for security, but the real war is the war with ourselves. We're at war with ourselves, and there could be... And who would that benefit? Who would that war benefit? And if you watch The Matrix and you get into, um, you know, the energy that certain beings that could be feeding off energy, certain, certain people, certain uh, invisible beings, and I, I recommend we send them love because we're all not that much different. We all have the potential to feed off negative energy. But my point is that this AI thing goes pretty deep, and when you get into plugging robots into the Internet, we're not sure... Who's controlling the internet? We're not sure what the agenda is behind cell phones. Maybe there isn't one, but there could be an agenda to keep us out of harmony. And if there is, we can forgive those people, but I also think we can get in harmony and we're gonna work to do that. I am going to work for you to do that. We're gonna try to bring more harmony to the world through technology and the true technology is again, in the earth and in ourselves. And people are already doing this. People have been doing this for over 100 years. Some of this stuff was covered up in the name of profit, and it just it is what it is. Just like the United States had slaves, it is what it is. We can for hopefully forgive those people, but these are the things I wonder, and you know, I don't know that protesting, I think we become what we hate, right? 
I know I bitched at people and usually I feel like crap afterwards. I, the person usually, the person you bitch at doesn't really care much about it. Usually I'm the one that feels like crap after it, right? So we become what we hate. But in terms of protesting, free energy could end poverty. That's already, somebody was working on it. Tesla was working on it. I don't see anybody talking about that. And uh, money is a control mechanism. I think people, some people do talk about that. Um, and uh, there's already technology to end all disease. Royal, Dr. Royal Rife, George Lakovsky, these are heroes. Dr. Hulda Clark, just Google them if you'd like. Of course, everybody can, you know, they could be discredited. This is just my experience, right? It does, you can find your own truth. You can find your own truth. But I have personally experienced things that make me say this stuff. This is for me personally. This is my opinion. And so the AI thing, I like, I like Vladimir Putin talking about this. I think it's very important. And I think there is a global system that is designed. And if you look at Google and what the head of technology, I think his name is Ray, and it starts with a K, Ray uh, something or others. If, if you guys find that, let me know. Uh, Ray Korsky or something. There's a transhumanist movement. They want to turn us into robots. They say it's a natural human evolution. I actually think that's to trap humanity into a certain frequency. I didn't make that up. I heard it, and it resonates with me. And, you know, if you, if you really look into frequencies, if you look at that we, we can actually see a very limited part of the spectrum of light that we're aware of and the universe is almost 0.001% visible light. And we can see very small percentage of that. The rest they call dark energy and dark matter. Trust me, there's more going on than, than I know about and everybody watching this knows about. And that is the truth. That is the truth. To connect yourself to an internet where we think we have all the information, we don't know a damn thing. So you connect yourself to an internet to heal yourself or to uh, get all knowledge that's not all knowledge. That's all of our knowledge, and we don't know shit. So just keep that in mind with this AI stuff and get chipped. And by the way, every time I look at the computer, now what we're working on here, I believe, and, and with our companies, there are ways to transmute this energy into harmonious energy. And that's what we're going to work on. And I think that, uh, and I don't, I don't need you to turn into a robot and trap you on a, a frequency. In fact, I would like to work on free energy so you can do whatever you want. So you, can, you don't have to worry about money besides to trade. There's no, there's no reason. Now I, I have to make money. We're going to sell things, and I'd love you to buy them because I am living in the same system you are. So you, we all have to make money. We have CEOs on and guests that help you and want to help you make money. But there is no reason why right now we couldn't only be using money to trade right now and not to control your life and so you have to go and you define yourself by how much money you make and everything else with free energy and more advanced 3d printers which they probably already have you wouldn't need money besides to trade and you would you would be able to print out whatever you need and to manufacture whatever you need i guess there's a limited amount of uh, steel and things like that so you know it's quite you know, there'd be a lot to this, right? And there, there'd be a transition. But there's no reason that can't be happening right now. And the real protest, you might as well just go yell in the mirror. And I've said this before. Because nobody's talking about this. People want to take your eye off the ball. And we're going to talk about both the NFL and President Trump and all the, you know, everybody's, it's a big distraction from the truth. And this AI thing is very important. I love that the president of a major country, Vladimir Putin, is talking about, I thought it was hilarious that he's talking about the uh, AI eating us, but just watch the movie Terminator. I have a friend, one of my best friends, uh, he knows who he is, right? Andrew, what's up? You know, his favorite movie is Terminator 2. Kind of interesting. Kind of an interesting movie, right? Um, so there's so much to think about with this AI. I want to know what you think about AI. Should we be concerned? How can we make it positive? How can we trust the people involved? Can we help people and the government to become more transparent? Isn't that the number one thing we should be concerned with? 
I, you know, the number one thing, I applaud people with the courage to tell the truth. And I'm going to tell you right now, I am not perfect. That is the truth about me. I represent the killers, the prisoners, the people who feel like shit, the people who are depressed, the people who would love to feel good, would love to be forgiven, would love to forgive others. I represent you no matter who you are and what you've done. I represent the people who wish they could live in the light and that want to live in the light. I, I am not perfect. I am not perfect. I'm just somebody trying to be better. That's the whole reason I started this network. And I am thankful for everybody, all the people that, you know, we had people talking about, we had our video that hit 100,000 views, this Harp and Hurricane Irma video, cussing me out, man. You're a bald mother effer and this and that. And I don't know, I, I've never seen so many, I've never seen, it was overwhelmingly positive. I've never seen so many people fired up about harp. When's the last time you saw in your neighborhood people, like I can see the protesters angry about racism. I get that, because that, that racism was a major issue. But somebody, people fired up defending harp, some weather machine, I've never heard of that. I mean, to me, that's interesting, but you know what? Maybe it's real, maybe they're very passionate about weather machines and they really want you, to, <laughs> they, they want you not to question the weather and they're very offended by it. Or maybe the government's paying them. I don't know, I don't know, but you know what? I'm thankful, man, because I felt that anger. I represent you, the people that say, screw spiritual things or harmonious things, screw kundalini yoga, meditation, you know, I'm going to be tough. I'm going to get what's mine. I'm going to live by money. This guy's full of shit. I love all of you. All of you. I represent the people that want to be better and want to find solutions and want just forgiveness. Because I'm going to tell you right now, none of us, none of us are that far away from the people who are controlling the world and making it so that we can't trust each other. We're all a part of that. We're all a part of that distrust. The reason we can't trust AI, because we don't know who the hell is running it and who the hell is running the internet. And Bill Clinton sat in a press conference while he was president, and I've said this a lot lately, he said, there's a government within the government I don't control. You can Google that. There's a government within the government I don't control. Who's controlling it? That's the number one issue in our world today. There is nothing more important. When you start having AI and you're, you're pumping all this Wi-Fi around, what are these waves doing? You know, you have studies now about cell phones coming out, causing cancer. And there was a movie that uh, I wanted to talk about, or that I did talk about before, Thank You For Not Smoking. I think it came out in like 2001 or something like that. It's about a lobbyist who helped who helped basically lobby the government for tobacco companies. And at the end of the movie, they hand him a cell phone, and now he's a cell phone lobbyist, I believe, right? Hey, man, it doesn't mean people that work at mobile phone companies are evil or Apple or anything else, but there's some people that know what the cell phones are doing, just like there's people that know what tobacco's doing, and they did back then. And, we, and those are the people that need forgiveness. And I represent those people becoming good again. That's what I represent because none of us are that far away from those people. Those people, if they know they're killing humanity, and you know what, We've, I ate a lot of animals. I'm vegan now, I ate a lot of animals. I killed, I had animals killed so I could eat. Killed, innocent animals. Who knows where they were brought up in some weird ass factory and all this stuff, and I ate, I ate the shit out of animals, and I didn't care. I didn't care if they were killed. I was hungry, so I was gonna eat. And that's not much different. Everything is important, and sure, some of, us, some of us have to survive. Some people hunt, they eat what they kill. I think that's at least sounds more humane to me. You know, even in the movie Avatar, they hunt, and it's a very sort of a peace, it's sort of a circle of life kind of thing, right? Um, they hunt and they eat what they kill and it's sort of a part of life. I get that. In fact, even being vegan, I'm sitting in a building right now that probably killed a bunch of animals habitats. You know what I'm saying? So it's hard to be vegan. I don't even know if you can walk and be vegan because you step on uh, insects and everything else when you walk, right? 
So we do the best we can. But the point is, these people that everybody's mad at, it doesn't matter if you're mad at Donald Trump, President Obama, mad at yourself, mad at, you know, f you know mad at yourself for being a, a you-know-what, mad at somebody else, your parents, your children, your wife, whoever else. We're not that far away from this energy that seeks to control the world. And why, why is that? Why does this energy want to control the world? It's just out of fear. It's just out of fear. If there's some beings that are telling uh, some, the Rothschilds to hook up AI so they can control humanity and keep us on a certain frequency so we're not aware that we're infinite beings, multi-dimensional beings, that time isn't real, and that there's so much more we are capable of, it's probably just out of fear. It's just out of fear. That's it. Maybe it's to survive themselves. Maybe they feed off of our energy. Maybe we're an experiment and there's certain beings that don't want us to wake up. They don't want us to wake up because, you know, that, that would screw up their experiment. And you know what? You think you're better than that? I certainly don't. You know why? Because I'm sure I've had medicine where we've experimented on animals in some cage somewhere, monkeys. And at Pfizer, I'm from Michigan. Pfizer has a plant in Michigan. It's more than just Pfizer that does this and they torture the shit out of those animals and they don't care and they don't want them to wake up because then they can't do the experiments and they can't sell that drug. And to them, there's a higher good, you know. But we're not the top of the food chain. We're not the top of the food chain and you're not, you're not only this body. So I think it's good that uh, Vladimir Putin's coming out about AI. I would love your comments and it's really, really an important thing. And Elon Musk is a really smart guy. I don't know his real agenda. I don't know if he's playing good cop, bad cop with AI, trying to be the good cop, and then he's secretly building Neuralink. Seems to be going along with a lot of Agenda 21 stuff, these trains that he's building. If you look at the United Nations Agenda 21, they, they're shooting to push people into cities off of land and build these high-speed trains and I don't know. Elon Musk seems to be doing things along those lines. You know, I'm not sure. And, I, you know, he has a SpaceX, I think. What, what's his thing called? He's got some kind of space thing, space company. And uh, I think he knows more about space. I think he knows. It's hard not to know. There's got to be more going on there. If there's other beings, I, I seem to think Elon Musk knows. I seem to think Elon Musk knows. I certainly think the government knows a hell of a lot more than what they're telling us. And Dr. Stephen Greer had, an, in my opinion, an alien body that he took to Stanford and they verified it was a real body. A six inch seven year old. Just Google Atacama humanoid. Atta, A-T-A-C-A-M-A -A -A, humanoid. It was in Huffington Post, millions of views. Of course, they're gonna say that it's probably human, but when's the last time you saw a human that looked like that and was six inches tall, a seven-year-old human? You ever seen a seven-year-old that's six inches tall? I've never seen it. Never seen it. So we have to be conscious of this AI, and it's really, really important.